African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC-3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the special military operation on the 8th of October, 2024. Yesterday, the armed forces of the Russian Federation carried out a group strike with hypersonic aeroballistic missiles Kinshul on the airfield infrastructure of the armed forces of Ukraine. The strike targets were achieved. All designated objects were hit. Units of the North Group of Forces in the Lipsy and Volchensk directions defeated formations of the 57th Motorized Infantry, 92nd Airborne Assault Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, and the 113th Territorial Defense Brigade in the areas of the settlements of Lipsy, Volchensk, Meli Prokhody, and Zalakiv in the Kharkiv region. The Ukrainian Armed Forces lost up to 50 servicemen, three vehicles, and an ammunition depot. Units of the West Group of Forces took up more advantageous lines and positions. They defeated the manpower and equipment of the 14th, 30th, 44th, 53rd, 66th Mechanized, 3rd Assault Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces and the 114th Territorial Defense Brigade in the areas of the settlements of Kupiansk, Petropavlovka, Osinovo, Grigorovka, Kucherovka, Kopanki, and Drusheliabovka in the Kharkiv region. We repelled two counterattacks by assault groups of the 28th and 53rd Mechanized Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. The enemy lost over 425 servicemen, seven armored combat vehicles, including five U.S.-made M113 armored personnel carriers, 11 cars, a 152mm D-20 howitzer, 155mm self-propelled artillery unit Panzer Hobbits 2000 produced in Germany, three 155mm howitzers M198 and 105mm M119 gun made in the USA, as well as a 105mm L119 howitzer made in Great Britain. An enclave and electronic warfare station and two field ammunition depots were destroyed. Units of the Southern Group of Troops continued to advance into the depths of the enemy's defense, liberated the settlement of Zoriang Pervo. The 22nd, 24th, 30th Mechanized, 56th Motorized Infantry, 5th Assault, 144th Infantry Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces were defeated. In the areas of the populated areas of Serebryanka, Chesavyar, Konstantinovka, Nakhonorovka, Kramatorsk, Seversk, Stopachki, Pretikino, Belyagora, and Maximilianovka of the Donetsk People's Republic. They repelled four counterattacks by assault groups of the 28th Mechanized, 56th Motorized Infantry, 81st Airmobile Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, and the 18th National Guard Brigade. The enemy's losses amounted to 855 servicemen, four vehicles, three 122mm D-30 howitzers, a 122mm self-propelled artillery unit Vostika, a 155mm self-propelled artillery unit Panzer Hobbits a 105mm M119 gun made in the US and a 105mm L119 howitzer made in the UK. Three electronic warfare stations were destroyed. Units of the center group of forces occupied more advantageous positions, inflicted losses on the manpower and equipment of the 23rd, 33rd, 100th, 101st, 110th, 150th Mechanized, 5th Tank, 95th Airborne Assault Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, the 112th, 117th Territorial Defense Brigades, and the 15th National Guard Brigade in the areas of the settlements of Gornyak, Zerzinsk, Dimitrov, Sherbanovka, Lysovka, Selodovo, Novoselodovka, Sukarino, and Krasnoy of the Donetsk. People's Republic. They repelled nine counterattacks by assault groups of the 42nd, 100th, 157th Mechanized, 25th Airborne, 5th Assault Brigades, and the 49th Assault Battalion of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. 
The enemy lost over 495 servicemen, a tank, an armored combat vehicle, five cars, and a 152mm D-20 howitzer. Units of the East Military Group improved their tactical position and liberated the settlement of Zolotay and Neva in the Donetsk People's Republic. They inflicted losses on the formations of the 72nd Mechanized. 58th Motorized Infantry Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and the 117th and 128th Territorial Defense Brigades in the areas of the settlements of Dobrovoly, Velika Novosyolka, Novopol, and Zelenoid Pol of the Donetsk People's Republic. We repelled a counterattack by the assault group of the 72nd Mechanized Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. The enemy's losses amounted to 115 servicemen, an infantry fighting vehicle, a U.S.-made M113 armored personnel carrier, seven vehicles, and a French-made 155mm Caesar self-propelled artillery unit. Units of the Dnieper Group of Forces inflicted losses on the manpower and equipment of the 141st Infantry, 128th Mountain Assault Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, the 37th Marine Brigade and the 124th Territorial Defense Brigade in the areas of the settlements of Stepnoy, Lobkovo in the Zaporizhia region, Veseloy and Antonovka in the Kherson region. The Ukrainian Armed Forces lost up to 55 servicemen, two vehicles, and an enclave and electronic warfare station. Operational Tactical Aviation, Strike Unmanned Aerial Vehicles, Missile forces and artillery of the groups of troops of the armed forces of the Russian Federation hit a container ship with ammunition, a warehouse and workshop for the production of unmanned aerial vehicles, as well as concentrations of enemy manpower and military equipment in 142 areas. Air defense systems shot down three U.S. Major Mars rockets and 49 aircraft type unmanned aerial vehicles. Since the beginning of the special military operation, a total of 646 aircraft, 283 helicopters, 33,062 unmanned aerial vehicles, 580 anti-aircraft missile systems, 18,555 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 1,469 multiple launch rocket systems, 15,793 field artillery pieces and mortars, and 27,052 special military vehicles have been destroyed. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.